Let's, I'll write this one down. Uh, that is 15.3 plus 1h equals 1.3 minus 1h. Well, I'm going to draw a line here. Anything that passes this line on the other side of the line has to uh, use inverse operations. I think what I'll do is I'll deal with the minus 1 here. I'm going to bring that over to the left. And in order to do that, in order to combine these two, I have to use inverse operations. And that's going to be pretty easy. I have 15.3 plus 2h equals 1.3. And now I'm going to uh, bring this over to the other side. And again, since it has to pass this line, inverse operations, I have to subtract 15.3. Now, I see here that this will be 2h, right? And then that's just 0, just like that was 0 right there. And uh, these are different signs. I have to subtract these. So for temporary purposes, I have to think of it like this. This is 0. This is um, 5 minus 1 is 4. 1, 14.0. And so this ends up being the 14.0, but I have to remember now the 15 negative, the 15.3 is negative, so that's negative 14. And divide by 2. These cancel. And h is equal to 14 divided by 2 is 7, but this has to be a negative 7. And now I can go to the other side and put in a negative 7 and Got it. Okay. Let's try another. Okay. I'll move this down a little bit. And I have uh, 12 minus 1 fifth times r equals 2r plus 1. Okay. So once again, I have this line here. And I need to get the, I like to get the R's on the left-hand side. Just, just as a general thing, I like to bring this over here. And if it does, it has to pass the vertical line. And this has to be minus 2R. I can't, I can't add these together directly because they're not on the same side of the equal sign. Minus 2R. And I have 12 here. Minus, I have to add these two together. So it's minus 2 and 1 fifth r because they're the same sign there. I'm going to add them up. And that's zero. That's what I'm going for. And I have one. Now I'm going to bring this 12 over to the right hand side. It's going to pass this. So I'm going to combine this with the one. That means I have to use inverse operations. And that's zero. I'm going for that. This is negative two and one fifth times r equals and negative 12 plus 1, that's negative 11. I'm going to make this an improper fraction. It's going to make things easier. I have, uh, let's see, this is negative 11 fifths. So negative 11 over 5 times r equals negative 11. And I'm going to divide by negative 11 fifths because I want this to go to the other side. Inverse of multiplying by negative 11 fifths is dividing. So when you divide, I guess maybe I'll just show that. Ne divide by a negative 11 fifths and these cancel. So I have to divide this by a negative 11 fifths. But this is the same thing as negative 11 over 1. <laughs> Dog's barking. Nice. Negative 11 over 1 divided by a negative 11 fifths divided by a negative 11 fifths. And, but remember, you have to invert and multiply. So this is the same as uh, negative 11 over 1 times the reciprocal of this, which is uh, 5 over negative 11. And these will cross cancel nicely. All right. And really, I just have 5 over 1 as a result, which is equal to 5. Hey, that's my answer right there. I'm calling 5 my answer. And there it is. 
And let's see what the next one is. A decimal one. And that one's, the decimals are generally pretty easy. Um, I have nine uh, plus 3.5 G equals 11 minus 0 0.5 G. Now, once again, different sides. I'm going to bring this over here, but it has to be the opposite sign, plus 0 0.5 G plus 0 0.5 G. And what have I got here? I've got uh, 9 and then plus, uh, what, that's going to be 4 G equals 11 and that's plus 0. Now I'm going to bring this to the other side, but I have to subtract 9. I have 4G equals 2. Well, that's multiplication, got to divide to get our final answer. And G is equal to 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 half. But you know, in this problem, they don't say that they want that. so. You know what, I'm just going to try two force because they don't say that they want to. Hey, it took it anyway. All right, so there you go. I'm hopeful that this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.